And welcome back. Well, sometimes adopting animals doesn't mean that they have to live inside your home. Barn cats, for example, live outside. And that means no allergies for inside, and it still gives kitties a loving home. It can solve a rodent problem on your property and give the animals an environment that they thrive in. Yeah, here to tell us more about that idea of adopting barn cats and introducing this adorable pup who does <laughs> need to live inside um, is Sharice Lejeune from the Wisconsin Humane Society. He is so This is Apollo. Cute. This is Apollo. I know. Show your I know. He's he's such a one year muffin. old, right? <laughs> he's only a year old, so he's a great, great age. And yeah, as you can see, if he looks at the camera, he's Hello. got such a, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> such a cute little smile. Um, he uh, has this adorable little underbite, and uh, he's just got such a great personality. Like I said, he's only a year old. Um, very mellow, chill personality. We were kind of all just sitting here before, and he was just taking everything in. So yeah. I think he'd be a really great match for um, you know either an older couple or you know maybe somebody's first time um, oh. dog if they haven't had a dog before. Um, he is a Maltese Shih Tzu mix, uh, we're estimating, so he's not going to shed that much, if at all. Um, so he'd be a great dog for somebody who potentially has allergies. Yeah. Um, but really great little guy. He's already been neutered. He's been microchipped. He's been vaccinated. So um, he's going to be all set to go home today at 2 o'clock when we open at our Ozaki <laughs> campus. <laughs> You're all yeah. too, is such a great pet. They are. I mean, they truly. really are. They're such great dogs. He just was taking everything in and just very, um, very chill, you know, just yeah. great, easy, laid back little guy. Did great in the car. <laughs> um, <laughs> he says it's way too early for me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so he is. He just loves everybody. So I think, again, he'd be a great dog for any family. Uh, but, you know, he'll be ready to go. And I do expect him to go pretty quickly. So if you're yeah. interested, definitely oh. get there early. <laughs> that is awesome. You. That is fantastic. Let's um, switch gears a little bit and talk about barn cats. I didn't realize people could adopt um, cats like that that yes. are more of what you'd consider an outside cat. Yep. This is actually a fairly new program at our uh, at our Wisconsin Humane Society. Um, we have most of our cats obviously go into a general adoption mm -hmm. to go into indoor homes or indoor outdoor homes. Um, basically, for outdoor cats um, like barn cats. These typically are cats that come in that have always lived outside, mm -hmm. so they simply would not do well in an, in an indoor environment. Um, a lot of times they just thrive from being outside. They, that's what they're used to. Um, but we still want to make sure that we can vaccinate them and spare neuter them and microchip them um, and give them guardians. So we do have our new program. It's our barn cat adoption program. And we do currently have quite a few barn cats that are looking for homes um, outside mm -hmm. um, in a barn environment um, or any, any shelter. And I can talk about that a little bit later. But mm -hmm. um, it's a great new program to help this special population of cats. Well, right. and to that point, kind of what you alluded, you don't have to have a barn. You just have to have either a shed <laughs> exactly. or like some place that they can, they can, you know, be when it gets cold. Yep, exactly. Yep. Does it have to be even heated or can it just be a structure? No, it can just be a structure. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody, uh, obviously these cats are used to living outside, yeah. so it's not like your typical indoor cat where they just would not do well outside. Yeah. Um, so again, you don't have to have a farm. You know, you can have a stable, you can have a shed, you can have an outbuilding, um, yep. just a place so that they can go to get out of the elements, especially with our cold winters and hot summers, um, but really also for the adjustment period. Yeah. Um, and that's really important to help them adjust as well, too, when you get them in that environment. And there's some benefits to having a, a pet living outside. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a win-win for everybody. You know, this is something where a lot of times, as if you own a stable or a barn, you do know that there are mice and other rodents around. Mm -hmm. um, so oftentimes, even just the sheer presence of these barn cats can scare them away. And so it's really something where it's a win-win. Um, I know a lot of people, um, you know, who have uh, hobby farms or, or stables say, I just don't want a million cats, yeah. uh, but they're already mm -hmm. sprayed or neutered, which is great. Oh, okay. And oftentimes you adopt them out in a pair, right? Yes, that's, yep, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because they actually, um, these are typically cats who don't prefer to be around people. That mm -hmm. doesn't mean they won't in the future once they bond with you. Yeah. But it's really important for us to send another cat home so that they can have that little buddy because they do prefer to be around other cats too. So it's a really great way to help them adjust to your um, environment, but also stay around um, and have a little buddy with them as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And is there still a fee for barn cats? We actually just ask a donation. So okay. they're already spayed, neutered, um, microchipped, vaccinated, which is great. And all we ask is that you make a donation for their care for the time they've been in the shelter. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people are really great about that. Uh, but we do recognize that you're you're helping these animals um, in sort of a non-traditional way if you do have a stable or an outbuilding or a barn. Um, and it, like I said, it's a great win-win situation. Maybe you can't have cats inside. Maybe yeah. you have allergies. allergies. Mm -hmm. um, and you want to help these little guys out. So we have quite a few that are looking for homes. Where do you guys keep them? I mean, obviously you, you're not keeping them 
inside, right? Exactly. So we try not to keep them in the shelter environment only because we know they would get so stressed being yeah. inside. Um, sometimes uh, we do hold on to them for um, a little bit longer while we're waiting to, to have somebody apply mm -hmm. for the program. Um, so right now, typically we try and get a, a base of um, clients who are looking to adopt these cats. And okay. then as they come in, we already have homes set up for them. Um, nice. and, and so it's great for them. We can get them out right away so that they're not stressed in a shelter environment. Um, and right now we do happen to have, we know that there's going to be a lot of cats coming in who are going to be looking for these types of homes. Great. So we're really trying to, to bump up our, our base of clients who would uh, be able to, to take these cats home. Yeah. And wonderful to, to find the, the right situation mm -hmm. or placement yes. for them. Yes. Um, because it sounds like, it, because it's a new program. <laughs> I know, he's cracking me up. I don't think Apollo's going to be around long today. I don't think so either. His little underbite is the cutest thing ever. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> it makes him look mad, but you can tell he's totally chilling. I know. Yeah, he's such a good boy. <laughs> but no, these little guys are definitely um, very, very deserving cats. <laughs> He's listening too. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, that's cool. I'll watch them from the window. Yes, yes. Yeah. So they're very, very deserving cats. And again, you know, it'd be great. Uh, you know, we have a lot of very rural farms, hobby farms, even anybody mm -hmm. who has an outbuilding or a shed to be able to open up their hearts and homes to these special population of cats. That's so nice. Right. With dogs like this, I have a question. You know, yes. because their tears kind of make these spots. Yes. Nice. Do you have to do anything with that? Or? There's, yep, there's just uh, actually tear wipes that you can get uh, at yeah, a pet that's store. Right. I knew that. Yes. <laughs> with like any, any little of the smushed face animals yeah. like Persians or Shih Tzu's, mm -hmm. uh, they just tend to tear a little bit more and you can actually just get wipes to just gently wipe those away. Um, so they do make something specifically for this breed uh, to help with Thank that. You. And especially with him being white too, it really helps. So um, <laughs> he's so smiling cute. at everybody. I know, you know, he's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's available after you open today yes. at two in Sockville. That is your Ozaki County location, which is located oh. on West Decora Street. Correct. You can find out more about all the wonderful um, <laughs> pets available for adoption, including barn cats, by going to wihumane.org or calling the phone number you see there on your screen. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Oh, just adorable. Sweetheart. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>